If you're looking for an advanced keyword research video all about Google Ads and finding converting keywords for your business, well, look no further. That's what this video is all about, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Chris Morano. I'm the founder of Blue Water Marketing, an agency that specializes in Google ads, Facebook and Instagram ads, and search engine optimization. I also own my own e-commerce stores, and so digital marketing is what I do. And in this video, I'm going to take my knowledge, and I'm going to give it to you when it comes to Google ads and keyword research. But not just any keyword research, some advanced keyword research where we're segmenting out search intent in order to capitalize on our budgets and capitalize on the effectiveness. All right, so before we get too in depth into the advanced keyword research tips, what I wanna start with is the overview of determining those keywords that go are going to convert. First step is to understand the intent behind the search. And so we're gonna be looking at these campaigns on a manual CPC basis to establish control over the intent. So if you're already lost, stay with me just for one more second. We're looking at question-based intent, but then we need to break it down into understanding how people search. So first step, is we're gonna do some keyword research for my beard and hair company. So let's just start out using SEMrush. We wanna look at the word pomade because we sell a water-based pomade. We're going to go into our handy dandy keyword magic tool and search for pomade. Now, as you can see, we have a total volume of almost 500,000 people across 36,000 keywords. And you'll see relative difficulty with massive volume. Now, looking at pomade as a singular keyword, it is just super broad. And you can see questions being asked are what is pomade? How to use pomade? What is a pomade? And then related searches, Suavecito, which is a brand, and pomade hair. You can also see the SERP analysis where we have our organic rankings. But it's super important to understand the intent. So although this is transactional, if we were to bid on just pomade as a broad match modifier, Pomade would show up for water-based pomade, oil pomade, what is the best pomade, what is the worst pomade, all of these different variations. So we need to dive way deeper than just pomade. Now, when I go into modifiers, remember, there's three. There is broad match, which is just the word. We have phrase match, which has the parentheses. And then we have exact match which is a bracket around the word. And so when we're doing our manual cost per click bidding strategy, we want to have control of all of those. So what I'm going to show you right now is our Savage Man Grooming ad campaign structure. So you'll see that we are bidding on pomade, 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 beard, beard, performance max, which was just a test, and then beard. Now, we have these turned way down right now because we're ramping up for a Q4 push. What I want to show you is that we have our pomade low best terms. Now within this ad group, you will see that we have negative keywords added in to this ad group. So these negative keywords have been added to funnel people with a manual cost per click bidding strategy in which we have complete control. So you'll see low best terms. So what we've done is we've added 815 negative keywords, alternatives to hair gel, alternatives to pomade, American Barber pomade, American Crew. So those are all of the competitive keywords. And we are now only appearing for pomade for men, water-based pomade, water-based hair pomade, best pomade for men. And we're excluding a number of other keywords to make sure that within our bidding strategy, we are controlling this cost per click. So if we switch over to low best terms, we can go over to high terms. And again, we are now excluding the keywords that we're appearing for in the low term ad group and showing them only for the high terms. What you will see is that our average cost per click in the high terms is much lower 
than on our low terms. So we have 47 cent, 31 cent, 50 cent, 47 cent. We go back to this other one, the beard low best terms, we have a much higher cost per click. And the reason we're doing this is because we're trying to understand the search intent. So if we go back to the keyword magic tool, we want to do some research. If you are finding this useful, if you think that you're going to use this information, help me out here. Give me a little thumbs up, hit the button, YouTube algorithm likes it, and I love it. So hit the like button and let's get back into it. So we can click on hair, which is going to narrow down best pomade for women, best pomade for men, curly hair, hair, best hair pomade, and we need to understand the purchase intent. So with that, we're seeing that on the side, we have $1.29 cost per click, pomade for her curly hair. That is a commercial. They are looking for something to solve the problem of their curly hair. If you look down a little further, Murray's hair pomade, we have a branded search term. They are looking for Murray's hair pomade and it is transactional, Axe hair pomade. Anytime we're going to see a branded search, most likely you're going to have a transaction associated with that. So we want to focus on commercial. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into commercial and transactional and group them into this. So we still have 265,000 people every single month searching for pomade in some variation. All right, so now we're going to go down more. So we know we can select Old Spice, American Crew, Dapper Dan, Layright, Ruzel, Anastasia, although that's a brown pomade, um, Baxter, Crew, and these. So what we would theoretically do is we are going to export this into a CSV file, and I'm going to take this information, copy it, and I'm going to paste it into the Google Ads Keyword Planner. So hypothetically, we're gonna click Get Started. <clears throat> what we can see here is year over year change is actually decreasing slightly. Top of the page bid, 42 cents, 43 cents. Average top of the page bid on the high range is a dollar, two dollars, a dollar. You know, so about a two dollar and 20 cent cost per click. If we look at the forecast, we get 66 clicks for $28. Average cost per click of 42. If we can add in a 2% conversion rate at a manual CPC bidding strategy, we're going to get one conversion for $21. That's not really going to work because the cost of the product is about $17, give or take. So we need to dive deeper. So this will be added into what we look call, you know, it would be a competitive ad group. Now, interestingly enough, we can start to see where these conversions are going to take place based on the purchase intent of what Google can see. And we're seeing that California is 21%. So maybe what we actually would do is create a campaign specific to the state of California, adjust the bidding within that to ensure that we are appearing based on the intent of the people living in California. Apparently, they really like pomade. If you guys are finding this video useful and you're interested in more digital marketing tips, trends, how to's, make sure to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button. I'm putting out two videos every single week to help you. So we're going to go back to SEMrush. We're going to deselect these and we're going to dive a little bit deeper. So most of what Savage Man Grooming is, is for men. So we're going to now look at these. If we opened it up, we can see the navigational informational. There's going to be 304,000. But again, I want to focus on the keywords that are going to make me money. We're going to go in a little bit deeper. So from a 50 cent to $1 to one fifty. keyword difficulty, very easy. And we are now diving deeper, although I'm not really seeing anything sticking out. So my pomade is a water-based pomade. So now what I want to do is take these keywords, sleek water pomade, water pomade hair, natural water-based pomade, men's water-based pomade, water pomade, and we'll exclude that one. Now that obviously is a much lower volume of keywords. So once we've established water-based pomade, we're going to go into the keyword plan, which is going to take all of the 
water-based pomade, which essentially is the same list that we have here in SEM Rush, and we're going to apply it to Google. Now, what I want to do is I want to take the brands out of this. So we want to go non-brand keywords and then other brands because I'm trying to find the keywords where people are in the research phase, but they're ready to make a purchase. They are looking for water-based pomade. If they're looking for Rusal water-based pomade, chances are they're going to go with them. So what we're seeing now is we have a list with a total of roughly 1,300 keywords with intent going up year over year change, three month change is the exact same. The competition is high with an ad impression share of 28% and a 94 cent cost per click. Top of the page is 336. Now we run a bunch of shopping ads, so it doesn't necessarily apply the same, but we want to look at that and then we want to go to the forecast. So we're going to go create a new ad group. This one will be water based high intent. Now what I want to do is I want to take this, remove these previous keywords. And what I want to do is add our keywords to the plan. We're going to go to forecast. We're going to paste in all of those keywords that we had just selected. We're going to hit save. So once we have all of these keywords added in here, we're going to look at 340 clicks for a total cost of $140, 3.7 click through rate and a 40 cent cost per click. Now let's go with a 3.5% conversion rate with a $20 cost per conversion. Let's see what we get. Average cost per acquisition, $11 conversion value, 240 cost of 140. So we're at a 1.8 X ROAS, which means we're making a dollar 80 for every dollar we spend. Now, not the most phenomenal ad group or setup I've ever seen, but what we can do there is once we get them to the website, that is where we have our upsells and cross sells to increase that cart value in order to make that 1.8 go up higher because the more money they spend in the store, the more that ROAS goes up because it is still being attributed to that Google ads. So, I know this was an all over the place video. Hopefully you guys are seeing how you need to funnel traffic in accordance to the search intent. Going back to SEMrush, we can go into a keyword gap. So, man, rooming.com, Savage Man Beard Co., Golden Beards, Grooming Nut, and Savage Soaps. Because we're not running paid ads right now, what you can see is you can start to understand how these other competitors are bidding on keywords. Patchy beard, that is an informational. Someone has a patchy beard, they're looking for a solution and Golden Beard Co, goldenbeards.com, believes that is a good term. Beards, I would not bid on that keyword ever because it is so broad, it could be beard styles, beard tips, beard trends, anything related to beards. A beard comb, that is a commercial purchase intent keyword. Golden Beards is bidding on that. They sell those. Beard grooming kit, transactional, 72. We can look at their landing page. We're already going for Christmas time. Beard bomb, pre-order, organic, $11. All of the different products. If I was them, I would be going towards the beard grooming kit landing page, but that's neither here nor there. So what we want to do is we want to take all the keywords and then once we have these keywords, we want to establish who else is bidding on them. We want to look at the intent. We want to look at the volume and we need to understand the cost per click so that when we go back to this forecast, your 1.8 isn't 1.8, it's 3.2. Google on average is delivering between a 400% and 500%, so 4X or 5X ROAS if it is done correctly. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate your time. I hope you found value. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you want that free marketing review, make sure to click the link in the description. One of my team members will reach out and we'll take a look at your Google ads. I hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll see you soon.